Hi beautiful ladies, um, it's Natalie here. I wanted to show you in today's video um, how I'm going about setting up my advent journal and my December, um, uh, well it's not quite a December daily but you know what I mean, my sort of scrapbooking side of things and my advent prayer journal as well um, with all of the Illustrated Faith uh, products that you've seen in the Etsy. So for a start, what I'm doing is, well, I'm doing a lot of things, so bear with me. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to see all of these things through for the rest of the month, but I've made a good start um, and that's promising. Um, so I've got, first of all, I've got the um, Advent Journal. These are just blank journals um, that you can find in the Etsy store, but it's got this beautiful little... Uh, deer or stag horns um, and advent and I've added the wood chip uh, Noel down the bottom um, so in this one I am uh, documenting my response to the make room um, devotional that was put out by naptime diaries um, so in this it goes through there's five uh, different sections Retreat, expect, accept, embrace, celebrate. And what Illustrated Faith has done is um, put out uh, the a matching stamp set, which has got the same um, five prompts here. Retreat, accept, accept, expect, embrace, celebrate. And I was just halfway through stamping um, those on the inside front cover of my journal as sort of like an index when I thought that you might like to join me and see what I'm doing. So um, you can see I've already started my first page and in fact um, my second page, uh, which is just, it's literally um, my response to uh, the first and the second um, devotional from the Make Room devotional. And then what I'm doing, um, there's five of them, so I'm just going to stamp the numbers one to five down the side uh, using the new homespun uh, letters, oh, sorry, not letters, numbers, uh, that are in the Illustrated Faith Etsy store as well. And so far I have done uh, one in poppy ink, two in lemon zest ink, three in limelight, and I'm doing four in blue and five in purple and they're called Clear Blue and Lavender Soda. And um, this is a new stamp set for me. I haven't used it yet. So I'm literally sort of, well, apart from the one to three. Um, so I'm peeling off the backing for the first time and taking my acrylic stamps, finding what I've done with my acrylic block, which is here. And um, a trick that I learned from somewhere, and I do not know where, but uh, it was a good trick. When you're using an acrylic stamp for the first time, especially when you're using sort of uh, dye inks, which are water-based inks, sometimes you get that sort of beaded uh, appearance. You can see like on the number three, or oh, maybe it'll focus, probably won't, but see how it's not quite sort of even? And the trick to avoiding that, because, you know, I forgot to do it on three, and I did the three first, believe it or not, before I did the two and the one. When you've got a new one, because um, it's kind of a little bit sticky, the way to get rid of that is to, trust me, rub it on your arm. I know that it's a weird thought, but it's just about sort of getting some of the oils from your skin onto the stamp and it makes it less sticky. And then what you're going to find is that this stamp's so much nicer um, this time around. So I still like to just test it. So I'm just going to get a scrap piece of paper here test it first of all and it's nice and even and then I can go ahead and stamp it in my book and I just wipe off the excess on that scrap piece of paper as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and do number five real quick for you. Same deal. Well I'll show you what I mean. If I don't rub it on my arm first and I just stamp it um, see how it's quite sort of blotchy and uneven so hang on let me get the rest of the ink off I've made that mistake before and have wiped ink all over my arm <laughs> rub it on my arm ink it up again and stamp it again and it's just it's much smoother the second time around so we're putting the five down the bottom oh messed it up never mind that's the, with 
all of the precautions that you take and all of my tricks that you know I've done I still mess it up and that's okay putting that back and um, just to show you what I mean um, with what I'm gonna do I'm just checking retreat is the first one I believe yes just checking um, which is probably why I stamped it there to, to begin with I'm going to use my black stays on ink this time around and I've already used this one so I don't need to do the um, trick and I'm just stamping it next to the number and I'm going to go ahead and do that with all of the rest of the, the words but you probably don't need to see me do that you get the idea so um, this is as I said, this is um, the journal that I'm using to do um, my response to the Make Room devotional. Um, and you can see on this first page, I've stamped the same stamp up there. Um, the cute little house that's in there as well. And then just added a couple of little embellishments. Written some journaling, which um, in this case was actually just a direct quote from the book but it really spoke to me so I'm you know I'm not making up my own for that because that was perfect for me I've done some more stamping of that deep calls to deep um, catchphrase if you like which is from Psalm 42 and these um, cute mountains are from um, the new advent printables which are in the illustrated faith store as well um, I have cut them out as you can see uh, these were designed by Elaine Davis and I think they're just so cute. There's two sets. There's that one and this one, which um, again, I may have already used one. And you know what I've done here? I have done two little tricks here just to tell you about my digital process. Um, for a start, you can see I have just printed these onto plain old printing paper. Um, you can of course print them onto fancier cardstock or paper or something really lovely but you know what I was thinking I'm probably going to have lots of these in my book and I want to keep this reasonably flat you know I'm not worried about a little bits of bumpy lumpiness but I want to keep it reasonably flat so I went with plain old cheap is the other point um, printing paper and the best thing about that is um, you know I can print them off a thousand times and I'm not worried about sort of any cost factor um, and the other thing is, you know, actually this one here was just stolen from by one of my daughters. So I'm letting them, of course, have free reign over these things as well because I can just print off another copy if I really want this one, which was here. Um, I can print off another copy. Easy done. The other thing that I've done here, if you will notice, uh, um, if you compare this to the original that's in the store, is that my colours here are slightly different and I have done that on purpose. I changed... Uh, in Photoshop I changed uh, the the hue of the colors and instead of this for example this blue which is quite blue here in the original it's sort of like a minty green and uh, and I did that just because um, well I guess because I like to be a little bit different about things um, but it's just a little trick that you can do to um, change the colors slightly with your digital um, printables like that so that they don't have to be sort of um, the stock standard for everybody you can make them match what you're doing um, these are the other advent numbers which if you are a subscriber to the illustrated faith newsletter uh, you will have got by now um, and what i'm using these for is not in this diary but i'm going to be using these in my other journal which I've got here, um, which came with a stamp set. It's the um, Make Room uh, devotional or journal. And again, it's just blank and it had, and it's got these lovely sort of Christmas tree or pine tree design on the front in those um, perfect pink and orange and yellow hues. And I've just added, again, my sort of embellishments um, which are mainly from uh, the Gossamer Blue uh, December kit at the moment and a little printable and some glitter thickers because what would Christmas be without gold glitter? In this one, 
I'm using this more as my sort of, um, you know, December daily or documenting December kind of journal, you know, the place where, and I'll just show you, I'm being able to put in the photos and do my journaling about what we're actually doing um, throughout December. And as you can see, so I've done number one, I've punched it out uh, with a starburst punch and put that there. Uh, these trees I cut with a die, um, from, which I got from Studio Calico. And then other than that, it's my photos, of course, and lots and lots of journaling. And I haven't got too far in this either. It's sort of just uh, day one, and this is sort of a continuation of day one. It's, you know, decorating the Christmas tree. So I am going to have both of these, um, working on both of these concurrently, and I'm going to put them both together. So, you know, I feel like it's almost like I'm putting my family and God together in the same place, which they always are. But, you know, no, it's in a handy little cute red ruffled dory as well. <laughs> and lastly, one last thing, um, you know, of course, in the devotional, there's often or there is always, <laughs> of course, um, Bible verses for you to look up. And I've noticed when I was doing gratitude, um, documenting gratitude, gratitude documented, sorry, throughout November, that I often um, didn't make a lot of my journaling entries in my Bible. I was so focused on doing it in my journal, which is fine because I'm still reading the word um, and, and, you know, basking in that. But I didn't have a lot of entries in my actual Bible. So I'm also going to try and make a little bit of an effort to um, get some of the same thoughts into my Bible as well that I'm doing in my journal. And just quickly, I've done just very simplified. Uh, this is again from the day one is deep calls to deep and I've cut that out of um, again one of these printables, those same mountains um, that you saw earlier and a little bit of journaling there. And so you know because there's so much going on there I'm, I guess um, when I get to this Bible journaling part I'm not going to want to repeat myself too much so it's probably just going to be little bits and pieces but you know I think the beauty um, of doing it this way is that it's just continuing you know when you repeat something over and over again you get it into your heart so much better and so I guess I'm doing it in different ways and hoping that I'm really going to be able to find lots and lots of time to spend um, you know with God and, and in my devotional life through this Advent season because we can so often get so busy throughout December that it gets pushed to the back burner but in fact it really should be the first thing and you know what, I, th I say that um, because I learned a valuable lesson this week already. Um, I, being December and being as busy as it is right now, I, I did, I prayed this prayer and I said, God, you know, I really um, want to be able to find some more time to spend with you. And probably the easiest thing for me is to do it first thing in the morning. But normally first thing in the morning, I'm so busy getting the girls off to school and feeding Judah and all of these sorts of things. And uh, I prayed that prayer regardless. And you know what he did? He answered me and he answered me in a way that I wasn't quite expecting. Um, and uh, he has, <laughs> it seems, um, changed Judah's sleeping patterns around so that now he'll get up anywhere between sort of 5.30 and 6, which means my day starts at 5.30 to 6. And whilst that's taking a little bit of getting used to, um, I couldn't help but laugh when I realized that that was actually God answering my prayer. And so my warning to you is be careful what you're asking for. Um, not that that's a bad thing um, because, you know, where God has provided a way, he will also make sure that you can stand up underneath it. And I have not felt tired throughout the day. I've continued to be able to do all of the things that I normally would. In fact, I'm being able to do more because I've been able to start and get things um, in my heart right at the beginning of the day. Anyway, enough of me rambling for this video. Way too long. I apologize. Um, go and uh, go forth and advent my illustrated faith people. Love you. Bye.